This looks like another bean. It is. It's a kidney bean. Didn't we do a kidney bean already? Probably. Oh, I guess we got to talk about its real function now. I yeah. mean, its primary function. Like the stuff it does. Yeah. yeah. Stuff with urine. Your anatomy. Okay, I'll stop. All right, please stop. Thanks. Okay. All right, so looking at the kidney, we are going to talk about external anatomy first. So there are two borders on here, the lateral border, which is the long border along the outside, the medial border, which will be the medial side. And on the medial side, you have what we call the hilum or the hilum, depending on who you're talking to. That's going to be the indentation where the renal artery, renal vein, and the ureter are all coming in or out of the kidney. Um, there are also two layers in the kidney that we need to look at. The renal cortex, which is the outer layer there. Notice it's kind of the light color on this kidney. And then the renal medulla, which is the middle layer. Uh, now the middle layer is going to contain two different types of tissue. The renal pyramids, which look like a pyramid and the renal columns, which look like columns between the pyramids. And if we draw one line around the column and each pyramid, we get what we call the renal lobe. So that's gonna be everything from, was it, half a column half all column. the way out to around the cortex, back down the other column. That's what we call one renal lobe. So on the renal pyramid at the tip, there is what we call the renal papilla. This is where all of the collecting ducts are gonna be diverging, dumping urine out of the pyramid and into the minor calyx. So each one of the small tubes that leaves one pyramid is called the calyx and where they all converge, and where you get three or more of these calyx come together, you get a major calyx. Okay, so this is gonna be the major calyx. All of the majors will then dump into the renal pelvis, renal pelvis will then take the urine um, into the ureter as we pass it down. So if we think about this in terms of blood versus urine, the cortex right, and the columns will be where all the blood is. The pyramid and then all of the calluses and the pelvis will be where the urine is. Urine and blood shouldn't mix. Nope. Right? No blood actually ended up in the urine, all waste product. Right. Now we also do have a small model in the lab. It's our itty bitty little guy who's wearing his sombrero. Okay, so he has all of the same parts. So I'm gonna zoom in on him. Whee! That you're gonna have to be able um, to identify. So it's also gonna have your cortex, your medulla, the pyramids and columns, the minor and major calluses, the pelvis, as well as the artery, the vein, and the ureter. Yep. Okay. Now there's one other model we want to look at, which is the one flat model that we have in the lab. So there are three things on this flat model. The first one is ooh, the kidney that looks just like the one we looked um, saw earlier. However, along the cortex, you can see that we have these little bumps. Those are the capsules of our nephron. So the nephron is what's gonna be actually doing our blood filtration and production of urine, and all the blood has to go here. So you can see each one of these dots represents one nephron. There are millions in our kidneys, and they're gonna be dumping into the collecting duct, which will go down into the pyramid and release through the papilla. So if we look at the middle portion of this model, you can see two nephrons zoomed in. You can see the glomerulus in the glomerular capsule. That's gonna be taking all of the stuff out of the blood and passing it into the proximal convoluted tubule, which is kind of light green on this model. It's gonna pass down into the loop, the loop of Henle or the nephron loop, whichever you'd like to call it. The descending will go down and then the ascending will come back up. And then what's left of this is basically almost urine as it passes into the distal convoluted tubule. And lots of these will pass into the collecting duct, which again will take the urine down into the minor calyx. And the last little blown up piece over here is just our glomerulus, uh, the glomerular capillaries and the glomerular capsule, which wraps around it. Great. All right. I think we've just made a lot of urine. Yes, we did.